Hey, I'm Ryan and I'm from Coffee on Q. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a great quality cup of coffee at home using the pour over method. This is our Hario V60 setup. So I'm going to talk you through each of the items we've got here, um, which you might have lying around in the, at home. I've got a gooseneck kettle, but you can use any kind of jug you want to pour our hot water. We've also got our coffee here. Um, now, if you bought it on our store, you can opt to have it ground for filter, or you can um, grind it yourself at home. I've got a little dosing cup. I've got our Hario V62 cup, but today we're going to be using a one cup recipe. Also got uh, our cylinder here, which is going to be what we actually brew our coffee into. But you can use any kind of mug or um, anything you want to drink your coffee from. Got a wooden stirrer here, which you can use a wooden spoon if you like. Um, we've also got a set of scales. Now these scales also have a timer built in. Um, so if you don't have a set of scales, and you've only got like kitchen scales for instance, you can also use um, those, but I would have a smartphone with me um, to use as a timer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, take my filter paper, I'm gonna fold it on this inside line here. That way when I pop it inside of my Hario, it's gonna sit nicely. I'm gonna tear it off, um, and I'm just gonna wash my filter paper. And so by washing the filter paper, it also is going to warm up um, this um, glass container here. So it's gonna be at the perfect temperature when we're ready to start brewing our coffee. So once that's done, I'm gonna discard this water over here. Next up, I'm going to um, get 15 grams of coffee. Now that we've actually got our, um, everything ready to roll, I'm going to add our coffee grounds, 15 grams, and we're just gonna even it out here so it's nice and flat. Then I'm gonna tear it off, and I'm gonna start my timer, and I'm gonna pour the first 50 grams within the first 30 seconds. In a circular motion always, Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to agitate. I'm just going to make sure that the water's actually touching all of the coffee grounds. Once I reach my 30 second mark, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my further 100 grams in and I'm just going to wash off my stirrer, continuing to pour in a circular motion right up until that 150 gram mark. Perfect. We're almost there. I'm gonna add the rest of my water, which is another 100 grams, and then I'm gonna give it a swirl. So three, two, one. So pouring always in a circular motion. I'm gonna go right up to that 250 gram mark. And there we are. Then I'm just gonna give it one swirl. So today's recipe is going to be about two and a half minutes of brewing time and basically now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for all of the water to go through the coffee grounds and that'll kind of complete our brew. Okay, now that the water's gone all the way through, what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard this and we're ready to try it out. So I'm just going to give it a little swirl, pour it into our cup here. It's really nice, it's really floral. Beautiful. So we just made a great cup of coffee using a pour over V60 method. There's also a range of other tools available to you, such as a Chemex, a Kalita, and a Clever Dripper. 